Now I already have my card in monitor mode. Let me. Well, you guys can see right there. So I already put this in monitor mode before the tutorial. WLAN zero mon, as you can see. So after this, in order to create a fake access point, the tool to do so is from the aircrack suite, and it's called Airbase minus ng, and it's one of the most easiest tools that you ever had. The first thing you write is what's just the name of your Wi-Fi. So minus e, and you can name it literally anything you want. So I'm gonna name it hot dogs because that girl, she knew I liked hot dogs and she knew if I saw Wi-Fi, then I would connect to it. Oh, it gets me so angry. All right. Now the next thing you need is what channel do you want to broadcast on? So she set up this fake access point called hot dogs, broadcast on channel six, which is my favorite channel. And where do you want to broadcast it from? Which interface? WLAN zero mon. So she hit enter and boom, this is up and running. Now right now I'm gonna grab my phone and I'm gonna go into my Wi-Fi settings and I'm gonna show you guys. All right, I don't know if you guys could hear that, but I just took a screenshot of my Wi-Fi settings. And I can see that now that this is up and running, this is an option. So whatever tablet, laptop, phone I had and everyone around me, they're gonna see that this hot dogs network is now available and open. Now everything isn't working just like she planned yet because remember she still needs to boot up her DNS server because she changed all the settings for it and got it configured exactly like she said but she didn't actually start that DNS mask service yet. So in order to do that it is DNS mask. I always write QS. Don't do that. Mask. And then it's minus C and then you give it your configuration file. So etc and then DN, holy caps lock, DNS, can I not type today? D-N-S-M-A-S-Q dot conf. There we go, Bucky, I knew you'd get it eventually. And the second thing is your host file. So minus C for your configuration file and minus H for your host. And that was in desktop and it was called fake host dot conf. Now we're just gonna throw in minus D and make sure that I don't have two spaces there or else it annoy me and hit enter and boom roast the look of that. So now not only is the access point up and running but now her stupid little DNS server is up and running correctly. Oh man, I'll tell you what, this, this girl, she was on top of her game. However, there was one last thing that she was thinking about doing. So in the last terminal, all right, let me minimize this so you guys can see. And again, I have two services running right now. The first one is just running as a fake access point to broadcast and let everyone know that, hey, there's an access point here. And the second one is just for my DNS server. And you have to leave them running in the background or else, you know, you need all of the pieces or else this is, isn't gonna work. So whenever she had her laptop and she had this fake access point and people were connecting to her, she needed to allow this traffic to actually connect to the internet. So whenever people connected to her, it wasn't the end point. She still wanted to take the request and forward it to the internet so people wouldn't even realize that you know this was a fake access point. It would just pass through her device to the internet and act as a man in the middle of tech. So in order to do that, if she writes ifconfig at0, then she could write 10, dot zero dot zero dot one twenty four and bring that up now remember what she does in this example or in this little line of code is she's bringing up that default gateway now this isn't an actual router that you can hold this is the virtual one and whenever she brings it up it's like bring a new device up so this is essentially the command that makes her laptop act as that wireless router she just brought up that interface and she's good to go. And actually, if you write ifconfig, you see that we got all of those now. And now, oh, what's this third one? AT0, a fake router, and it has the IP address 10.0.0.1. Yeah, very clever, Miss Hacker, but she ain't gonna fool me. All right, so she set up her fake access point. She's broadcasting now. She set up her fake DNS server. She even brought up that gateway's IP, so it acts as a gateway. But the last thing that she needs to do is she needs to configure her routes. In other words, even though that pretty much all the virtual hardware and servers are up and running, she still needs to allow 
the actual packets to pass through her computer to the actual internet to get a nice proper man in the middle that no one can detect. So the first part of that, and hopefully you guys watch my networking tutorials where I explain routing tables, and or are they in my Linux series? I don't know. I'm sure you guys watch all my videos, so you guys are going to be golden. But she's going to add a route, and in order to add it, just write add, and the settings for this is first, what's your network? And remember, that's 10.0.0.0. That's your network. The default gateway is 10.0.0.1. All of the IP addresses she can hand out range from uh, .0.0.10 to .0.0.250 or whatever. But this is her actual network's IP. And the next thing she needs to do to set up a network properly is to set up her net mask, which is 255.255.255.0. Wow. Couldn't hold it. Thought I could. And the last thing is your gateway's IP. So 10.0.0.1. So... Let me make sure everything looks sweet and boom, there you go. Network is now up and running. Clear that and oh, did I hit enter? Embarrassing. Now, just like the last tutorial, since this is a man in the middle attack, then you need to enable IP forwarding. So no different. So we'll run this command and it is now enabled. And remember, you need to do this every time. And again, hopefully you guys watch my networking tutorials where I talk about uh, the different fire firewall settings and the different chains that you can use so <coughs> that was embarrassing um I'm gonna have to remember to edit that out so I'm not too embarrassed all right so the first thing we want to do is the default rule is for forward and remember you have input output and forward whenever you're acting as a router it's forward and the default rule for this is just to accept so this is one thing that allows your computer to access a router. Basically, instead of just getting packets and they stop there, then you actually want to forward them, allow them to pass through between networks. And also IP tables, minus T net, minus A, post routing, minus zero, ETH zero, minus J, masquerade. All right. So what this means is post routing, you know what that means after all your normal routing is done then we want to send the data out through ETH0 so remember it's coming in on that interface that we specified and that's how people can connect with it but then whenever we manipulate it however we want we actually need to send it to the real internet and for that we can't send it through the same interface so we need to use ETH0 and that's actually why whenever you look at a router you always have a line coming in and it says like a line one or whatever and then you have like four other plugs where you can hook devices to so you can't just jam everything into the same plug so different interfaces whenever you're using a router and hit enter now if you are you know hosting any websites on your own computer what you can do then you would have to do apache 2 ctl just like last time and start and then you can, let's say, set up a fake uh, like Facebook or banking site or whatever you want to do. This is what hackers do. Hit enter, and it's going to give you that, but it doesn't matter. You now have Apache running, but check this out. I'm going to pick up my phone again, and I'm going to tap hot dogs, and I'll post screenshots in the video. And I'm just going to hit connect. So it says I obtained an IP address. Now you guys can see that, okay... A client has associated unencrypted, oh, very clever hacker girl, to Hot Dog. So I'm now connected to Hot Dogs according to that thing. And now let me just go to one of those sites. So I'm going to type in buckysbacon.com, hit go, and dun 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 dun. dun. And boom, look at that. It redirected me to the new Boston because remember, in our fake host file, even though what I just type in, buckysbacon.com, even though that may be a real website, maybe not, it's irrelevant. Whenever anyone types it in, it's going to redirect them to the new Boston. So that is how that girl was thinking about performing this fake access point attack. So hopefully after this video, and if you watch my entire series, then you guys are finally going to realize how dumb it is to connect to a public 
Wi-Fi hotspot. Even if you connected to it before and nothing bad happened, you guys are now aware of just how vulnerable these things are. I mean, you might as well just yell out all your credit card information and your social security number and it will probably be less dangerous than connecting to a public Wi-Fi. So thank you guys for watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next video.